Hello everyone, this is Geeta and welcome to today's video. So a lot of you have been messaging us, emailing us and also writing in the comments about where and how to find the tools that we are speaking about, the links that we refer to in a lot of our videos. So this is a video where I'm going to take you through where you can find this, uh, find these links, what are the different links that are available and how do you use them. So without further ado, let me first show you where you can get access to these tools. Essentially, if this is a video which speaks about a link in the description. All you have to do is go to the description in the video and you will see something called as fruit free tools listed over here and just click on this link and it will take you to this particular resource hub. In case you are already registered for the free tools, then you will be able to directly see it. And if you're not, you can sign up over here. I have already signed up just for the sake of uh, making it easy to show you. Let me take you to my dashboard after I sign up and tell you how it looks like. So once you've logged in, uh, you'll see these four tabs over here. And what you want to access is the digital products tab. So this digital products tab will take you to this free screeners. At the first look of it, it may look like there are only seven here. But when you look closely, there is something called view more. And you will see the other remaining tools as well. So we have 14 tools overall that we have used across a lot of our videos. So let me take you through each and one of the tools so that we can recap each of the tool. So the first one is a screener for top 25 momentum stocks from the Nifty 200 universe. If you remember, initially when we started out, we started out by building a portfolio in public and it was from the Nifty 200 universe and it was a momentum portfolio with top 30 stocks. So the a lot of these rules kept changing over time uh, based on how the portfolio was moving ahead. So what you can do essentially with this tool is that all of the 200 stocks from Nifty uh, have been loaded, Nifty 200 have been loaded here. And there are different rules that have been given here to analyze each of the stock. So you can change all of these. So you can change the EMAs, you can change what return you are looking at, what is the, uh, you know, uh, how close it has to be to the 52 week high. Uh, the last one year high and how many percentage days that you want the stock to be up in the last six months that is the that is 120 uh, 126 trading days you can also change the number of months you can change the percentage of up days and calculate returns for six months three months one month you can change these time periods as well to uh, 12 9 6 3 and 6 just 3 and 6 or only 1 and 3 so whatever you prefer you can change all of these parameters and then you can finally arrive at run the code to arrive at a list. So what is happening over here is this entire list is of top 45 stocks and this red line is showing you the top 15 out of the top 45. So uh, you, you your own list will be generated once you put in the parameters that you are looking for. So this is the first screener which speaks about the top 45 momentum stocks from Nifty 200 universe. Now the second screener is of the market breadth. So one of the indicators that we DIY investors you use very often to understand the market or measure the general direction in which the market is moving is the market breadth screener. So again, this is a code that has been pre-built for you. So as soon as you click on it, you will be redirected to a Google Collab link like this. So what you can know is you can know the percentage of stocks that are advancing and declining with, with the percentage of stocks which are above their 200-day EMA. So essentially, you will understand the general direction of the market and understand if the breadth is wide or narrow and then you can uh, therefore, take your own trading calls or investing calls based on the market breadth. So this is the indicator for market breadth. And the third one is a screener for the RRG plot. So the relative rotation graph that we keep using to understand what is the relative strength and momentum and also which phase is a particular stock or a sector moving in. We have four phases. There is improving, there is leading, weakening and lagging. So this is to understand the direction or the phase in which a particular stock or a sector is in. What is the relative strength of it and what is what is the momentum of it look like? So there are a few steps when you run this particular code. You have to first enter the benchmark or the index that you're trying to um, look at. Over here, let us use Nifty 50 for over here and the ticker or the code that we have to use for it is the code that is mentioned for Nifty 50 on Yahoo Finance. So on Yahoo Finance, the code for Nifty 50 is hat NSEI. Once you have entered your benchmark, then it will prompt you 
to put 10 tickers over here which are separated by commas so you can either use sectors or you can use individual stocks so over here i'm just for the for, for quickly doing it i'm i'm using two indices that have two sectors that have been mentioned over here one is the fmcg and one is cnx it again these codes are listed on yahoo finance for fmcg and it once you have done that you also want to enter the time period for which you want this calculated so you can choose one year you can choose two years four years five years etc and this time period is basically measured in years so let us put two years over here and the next one is a window size for calculation. So window size is nothing but the look back period that you want to have. So uh, simply put, you want to you want to understand the current position of a particular sector or a stock with respect to what has happened in the past. So for example, if IT is doing really well and is in the leading quadrant today, we also want to understand for a particular time period, let's say for 12 weeks, how it has performed and which quadrant it was in. So if IT was improving and then now it is leading, we clearly understand that there is a movement towards the to in one direction. So it's moving from one phase to the other. So let's just say um, we want a look back period of 24 weeks. So uh, the look back period over here or the window size is being measured in weeks. So any number that you enter is the number of weeks. So it can be 12 weeks, it can be 24, it can be 28. So I'm just using 24 here very randomly. Now you also enter the tail length for plotting a particular RRG and then you will now be able to see an RRG plotted for you for these two sectors. So you will see uh, how CNX IT, where it currently is and where its movements have been in the last few weeks, the window length that you have given and similarly for FMCG. So this is how you use this indicator. So you can use it either for different sectors. You can you can have as many as ten tickers at a point of time. And once you once you have identified that you know one sector is doing better than the other, you can also use different stocks which belong in that particular sector to understand which of the stocks in the leading sector or in a in a uh, sector that you want um, are performing. So all in all, you can use it both for sectors and stocks. The next screener is a market snapshot. So this snapshot is the one that we've been using regularly to understand how different markets are performing uh, across the world and also different indices and asset classes. So this is easily accessible. There is, uh, we, we, we are looking at different markets. We are also looking at different asset classes. And then we are also looking at different sectors in the NAC as well. So it gives you information for the last one year, six months and one month. Now, there is also data on uh, Nifty total index or the 750 index. This is with respect to the market snapshot. Now, coming to the next one, we can also uh, there is also another tool for mo uh, momentum tools. So all of the 200 stocks again, and it will also talk about the last six month, three month and one month momentum and give a final rank as well. So it's calculating the scores and it is giving you a final rank. So you there is also... A, another sheet over here which is which is named readme and it it speaks about how you have to use it so the script doesn't automatically refresh and firstly you want to copy paste the entire uh, data that is given into your own sheet because this is a view only sheet and then if you want to fetch the latest data you have to go to custom functions and select all of the functions that are li listed here and you also have to run this script several times because there is a limit on how much it can run on google sheets per se so this is with respect to the momentum the next tool is on a back back testings on a, on back testing strategies. We have a, a few back testing strategies that we have discussed with you over the last few videos. There is one absolute uh, momentum that has been back tested. There is also a dual momentum that has been back tested between Nifty and Gold. We also have a back testing for multi asset multi selection strategies. So this is with respect to back testing strategies. So the next screener is the. NSE indices returns versus volatility mapping. So let me show you what the screener does. This particular Google Collab file has all of this, all of the indices that are available in the uh, Indian markets. We have all of the broad market indices, sectoral indices, thematic indices, and strategy indices. So this chart basically shows you a seven year rolling return versus the volatility. So volatility is charted on the X axis and seven year rolling return percentage over here. So it will show you the risk to reward ratio of all of the NSE indices and marked by the color is with uh, the particular kind of 
in index. So in red, we have all of the strategy indices and over here, there is nifty mid cap 150 momentum 50 that is marked, but others are also here. So if you run it and look at it and see, you will be understanding which particular index is lying at which risk to reward ratios. And this is for a seven year rolling return versus volatility. Now, another in another screen or tool that we have over here is for the broad market indices. And here we have returns versus volatility mapping as well. And we will be looking only for the broad market in indices that is for all of the universes which are there uh, as part of the NSE. Over here, we are again, we, we will be able to look at some more of data points. There is three years rolling returns versus volatility. Uh, there is five years rolling return versus volatility. There is seven year rolling return versus volatility. So in the last one that I showed you, we have a seven years rolling return of all specific indices of the market and volatility. Over here, we have for all of the years, three years, five years, and seven years. Again, this is uh, with respect to broad market alone. And similarly, we have also mapped this particular three, five, seven years of return and volatility for all indices, sectoral, thematic, strategy, strategy etc. So this particular screener will take you to that and you can see which particular index is performing how. So Nifty small cap 250 momentum quality is here on the three years return versus volatility uh, chart. And you can see that Nifty mid cap 150 is over here. And these colors indicate which particular kind of index it is. So blue is for strategy, green is for sectoral, red is for market and purple is for thematic. So let's just say I unmark all of the market from the three years. So I'll only be left with sectoral and strategy. So if I want to see only strategic and thematic, I can also do that. And if I only want to see strategic, I can do that. So whichever one you want to choose. So these charts are basically uh, dynamic and you can choose whichever one that you want to. So this is how this particular tool looks like. So moving on to the next one. So we have constructed different portfolios and there are two kinds of returns that we have calculated for. One is the simple ROC and the other one is risk adjusted returns. These portfolios have been co uh, constructed with different parameters. So for the simple ROC, we have uh, one month, three months, six months calculated and rebalanced at two weeks. For the same thing, we have a rebalance of four weeks. We also have ROC calculated for three, six, nine months with a rebalance of two weeks and then four weeks. Uh, similarly, for six and 12 months with a rebalance of two weeks and four weeks. All of this has also been done for different time periods. So we have two time periods that we have taken. One is five years and one is 10 years. So you'll see over here that there are different metrics of data that is available. We have CAGR, there's max drawdown, annual volatility, sharp ratio, drawdown days, three year rolling returns for average, three years maximum rolling returns, minimum rolling returns and overall transactions. So you'll also understand if you follow this particular portfolio setup where you are calculating the momentum rank based on three months and six months. So over here it is six months and 12 months, which is rebalanced every two weeks. You will have 1,351 transactions and Nifty 50, how has Nifty 50 fared? Uh, the general market when we consider and how has this portfolio fared? So you have all of these various uh, backtest results that are available for simple ROC and also risk adjusted returns. So this sheet is a very robust sheet of, of uh, different portfolios, momentum portfolios and how they have performed. Coming to the next screen now, what we have is we have the top factor small cases sheet. So we keep giving a report, monthly report of how different small cases are performing. Earlier, we used to do only for momentum-based small cases, but since the last month, we are also doing it for other uh, factors like alpha, low volatility, multi-factor value, and quality. So this sheet essentially lets you understand how they've been performing in the last three years, uh, what are the benchmarks, how are they faring with respect to their benchmarks, what is the sharp ratio, how long these uh, small cases have been running for, etc. So all this sheet carries details of all the small cases and this is going to be this will be updated every month as and when the video releases so these values will be replaced every month and the sheet will tell you for that particular month whenever you are viewing the next the, the next tool we have is uh, factor data so we also do a monthly analysis of different factors both from bse and nse and see how they are performing across the last 12 months 
we also see how these strategies have performed, these indices have performed in the long term. And what we do is we put out a list of mutual funds and ETFs from the top performing indices, both in short term and long term. So for short term, all of the data points are, li points are listed in this particular sheet. Uh, for BSE indices, it's listed here. And for MSE indices, it is listed over here. So each month, as in when we keep progressing uh, in time, new data points keep getting added over here. And you can see all of the data, therefore. And for long-term performance, this long-term performance is calculated using another sheet, which is linked right below. Let me show you that as well. The last sheet is for the long-term performances. And this is the NSE strategy indices data. This again is a very, very detailed uh, data about uh, all of the strategy indices that are there. So we keep adding new strategy data as in when new strategies get re released. And every month, even this data is updated. So there is a CAGR since inceptions. There, there is three year uh, rolling returns. There's outperformance, top 25, top 50, bottom 25, maximum drawdown, volatility, sharp ratio. And considering all of this, we have also given a particular score uh, with weightages. And we have also given of the final ranks. These ranks will tell us in the long term which indices, which strategy indices have performed really well. And then you can also look at the mutual fund and ETF data from the previous screen. And uh, right below in the sheet again is median rolling returns for different time periods. We also have it for one year, three year, five year and seven year. There's also an annualized volatility and maximum drawdown percentage that is given. So essentially, these are the different tools that are free tools that are available at the moment. We have 14 free tools that that help you do several things, uh, ranging from understanding how the general market is to very specifically understanding how uh, stocks are performing, their momentum ranks, where are they in the relative rotation, where sectors are with respect to relative rotation, how are the broad market indices indices performing, etc. So this these are all of the tools. And once again, just to summarize, uh, you have to go to MomentumLab.in or you can click the free tools link from uh, the description of any video that we have on YouTube. You will, you will be directed here and you can... Uh, what you can do then is to go to digital products. In case you have not signed up yet, you can sign up. And if you have already signed up, you will go to your dashboard. You will look at, uh, you will click digital products, look at the resource hub and then view more so that you can view all of these different screeners. So hope this clarifies and uh, thank you once again for joining and hope to see a lot more of you accessing these resources. Thank you guys.